Hey everyone, it's Liz and today I am coming to you from Laughlin, Nevada and I'm going to be checking out the Harrah's Hotel and Resort. This is going to be my first time here. The reason why I chose this resort, I know that there's several others I could have um, selected from down on Casino Drive, but the reason why I chose this hotel is because they have their own little beachfront set up along the Colorado River. So I'm really excited to check out this hotel. So you're coming along with me on this journey and and let's see how it goes. Walking around the casino itself is just what you'd expect. It's a casino and a beach resort since it's located right on the Colorado River. It's a Caesars property and it's included in the Caesars Rewards Loyalty Program. This resort also has concerts, restaurants, a sports book, and water attractions. And they also let pets stay. However, it's not a high-end casino like you'd expect on the Las Vegas Strip. But for a small town with a population of less than 10,000 people, this micro mini version of the Las Vegas Strip on Casino Drive in Laughlin is pretty cool to see. Let's head over to the room and check it out. I booked a room in the North Tower. You'll see here there are three buildings or towers for Harrah's. Okay, so this is the king size bed on the North Tower. Um, room looks pretty standard and basic. It probably hasn't been remodeled since, I don't know, I'm guessing the last 15 to 20 years. But it looks clean. The air conditioning is working. Uh, we do have a TV, although it is small, but it's a TV. And this is our Riverview room. So we did pay extra to get a Riverview room. Actually, it was a mountain and Riverview. So that's the um, supposed mountain. We've got the parking lot downstairs. And we do get to see the beautiful Colorado River. And right across on the other side is Bullhead City. So, I mean, this view is okay. They do have actual river front rooms where um, you're a lot closer and, and the room is what it says, river front. But this was a river and mountain view. Air is on 63, so that's good. It actually feels nice in here. All right, let's check out the bathroom really quick. What do we have in here? Okay, well, ironing board. Uh, towels, they feel okay. Toilet, uh, some missing paint. You know, the shower's okay. A single sink, and then you have some Jose Hebert toiletries. Okay, so let me tell you how much I paid for the room. Um, I did make a mistake and I did book the room a little bit too late. This is the 4th of July weekend and it is a Saturday, so keep that in mind. Um, considering that I did book it late and it is a river and kind of a mountain view, this is what I paid. Don't freak out, you guys because I know you can get better rooms in Vegas for this. So this is in the North Tower, Saturday. The room is $307. Taxes are $40.50. Resort fees are $17 per night. Okay, not bad, they're more expensive in Vegas. Valet parking is $10 per day, which they'll end up charging to the room. So, um, in total, so far, this is without the valet parking, I've paid $345.38. So, tell me what you think. Give me your opinion. Um, is the view worth it? 
because clearly to me this is not um, this is not a high-end room so you know considering that I booked late this is totally my fault um, as you can see here on the screen there are much lower rates once the 4th of July passes and you can see all of these promos that are available so yeah um, I'm a little bit disappointed but it's okay, I'm not gonna be spending a ton of time in the room anyways. So let's go out into the casino, walk around, and see what we can find there. So the nice restaurant in this hotel is called The Range. Um, of course, it's reservation only, and they are completely booked. So I'm gonna head downstairs and place an order to go. We get to be in the video. We get to be on the video, sure. Yeah. We get to, we we get to complain video. about it. <laughs> we can complain a lot. All the way down. Keep going. Sorry, going down. Wow. Oh. Snooze, you lose. Sorry. Oh. 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 You said I was in the elevator situation for the North Tower was pure hell, and I'll show you the line later. Since there are no reservations available at the Range restaurant, I decided to order and bring it back to my room since there is no room service at this hotel. Since I was at the restaurant, I decided to take a look inside to see what I was missing out on. It looked nice and it had a great view of the pool and also of the Colorado River. They didn't look full, but who knows, maybe they were short-staffed that night and just couldn't take on any more reservations. I got my food and headed back to the elevators for the North Tower. There must have been a bank of at least six elevators, and the line was wrapped around the corner and started here. I waited for at least 10 minutes before I got on an elevator. Now, I don't know if one or several of the elevators were out of service, but just Are not marked. But yeah, yeah. I had never experienced a uh, backup for an elevator like this. So this next part is really gross. If bodily fluids make you want to puke, then maybe you should look away. I pulled the bed sheets down to go to bed. There was dried blood on the sheets and the comforter. And I don't mean a stain. I mean blood that had not been washed. This sheet had not been washed. So at about 10 p.m. at night, I was getting ready to go to bed since I have an early morning. And I pulled the sheets back and there was a big glob of dried blood on the sheets. Um, fast forward about an hour and 15 minutes worth of drama and now I've been moved to another room. This time it's on the South Tower, which apparently is much better. Um, you can tell that it is a little bit more modern. There is a little refrigerator in here so here we are with the king bed and the only thing they had available was the handicap room and you can see that they have um, nicer looking nightstands and bed lamps here is the little refrigerator uh, there's a mirror and check this out the tv is bigger than the size of a playing card now, when you come over here and you look out at night, there is no view of anything other than one of the casino entrances um, on the second floor, and then there's the parking lot, so. All right, so that's enough for this evening, and uh, let's see how tomorrow morning goes. So this room was not without its issues either, but it was still better than the blood bed, and I was really tired and there was no way I was going to leave this hotel at this time of night to find another room. To me, the only redeeming part of this hotel is that there is a very nice pool and beach area.
At the back of the property, they have this walkway to the water taxi, which is a super fun thing to take if you want to go casino hopping along the river and not have to walk or drive. There are two sandy beach areas with a little tiny part of water sectioned off for people to swim or wade in. It actually looks pretty shallow. Wow, look at this beautiful Colorado River. Although you can see that there is a kind of strong current going on. I mean, it is a river after all, and the average temperature is about 61 degrees. They have a London Bridge jet boat tour. That looks nice. $95 a person, round trip. Water is so clear and beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's some big fish. I'm sure people that are into fishing will know what these are. I think they're striper bass because of the stripes. I'm not sure though. And on the other side of the river over there, that is Bullhead City, Arizona. And obviously I am in Laughlin, Nevada and the Colorado River is the border between these two states right here. And in case anyone is wondering what Caesars did regarding the blood, they gave me $150 back, but they were only crediting me back the difference in price from what I originally paid versus the price of the room they moved me to. The manager at the front desk totally didn't care, and this was the worst hotel experience I've ever had. Well, that was my experience with Harris. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as usual, I appreciate you being here and I will see you again soon.